Hey everybody, it has been, it has been a long time, but I wanted to uh, show something to you here. So, a couple nights ago, the doors to our shed got left open, and uh, I haven't had the time to come down and clean things up, but, um, you know, we, we're all about feeding the birds, and so we have bird feed in here and whatnot, but yeah, I want to show you this. Something got into our bird feed about two nights ago. They have made an incredibly nice little mess here. You can see it there. But here's what I love. All of these footprints coming up on our cornhole bags. Now mind you, I had a couple students over here on Monday. And we just used these cornholes for, uh, to, to play cornhole. And uh, this was not the way it was just the other night. Look at that. In case you're wondering, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure those are raccoon prints. Which makes me wonder um, if there's not a little friend in here somewhere. Usually the shed is a little cleaner than what it is now. But uh, like I said, we've been a little busy. Um, office work church work stuff like that i just haven't been down here to clean the shed so we're gonna get this all cleaned up make sure we don't have any tenants living in our living in our shed here so should be fun so we have had pretty good success with this year's garden uh we've planted if you remember peppers uh tomatoes cucumbers pickles and uh some herbs a couple butternut squash uh, what else are some things in there? Habanero peppers, red and green and yellow bell peppers, uh, lemon boy tomatoes, beef steak, um, homestead cherry tomatoes. Um, we had lettuce early in the season. Uh, we had green beans and snap peas early in the season. Uh, but we've been getting tomatoes and cucumbers and peppers pretty pretty strong through the entire summer they just haven't given it usually um i've only been able to keep cucumbers coming up to like mid to end of july like last year we tried to do it not last year two years ago we tried to do it and um <clears throat> it didn't work we 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 were done doing cucumbers like mid july this year though we've done awesome and they just keep keep coming up they just keep growing um, and so we've been updating everyone on the, uh, the blog with some pictures and some commentary, but I was just out in the garden now and thought I'd give you a quick rundown of what, what I just picked. Um, so like I said, uh, we've done sweet banana peppers, uh, yellow banana peppers. We've had a ton of those come through, though uh, we did make a mistake. We planted our habanero peppers a little too close to some of our sweets and uh, we think they cross pollinated a little bit because some of our sweets are a little spicier than they should be uh, but we've gotten pretty consistent um, sweet banana peppers we've frozen a couple bags full of those uh, I just picked some uh, these are those uh, cherry tomatoes grape tomatoes one of the other cherry tomatoes um, I picked them because the plant's starting to get attacked a little bit and uh, these are starting to change color a little bit. If I put them on the window still here, um, they will ripen in the next couple days. So again, nice set of uh, cherry tomatoes there. We'll put them up there, let them ripen. Probably by next week they'll be nice and red. Um, <clears throat> this is either going to be a beefsteak or a uh, homestead. I picked that because it's, uh, again, starting to change color. And uh, being out there today, I've noticed that the deer or something is really starting to attack the garden. We've been great all season. Nothing really has touched the garden. But now I'm seeing evidence of things being eaten and dug up. So um, these are going to be lemon boys. So we'll put these up here on the windowsill. Uh, another stack of lemon boys. I left them on the little vine thing to keep on sucking the nutrients. Here's some of those cherry tomatoes. Like I said, they were starting to change 
So we'll pop them up there. They will be nice bright red here in probably another day or so. Uh, some more of these lemon boys. Gosh, uh, we just had, we planted six lemon boy plants and they've just gone absolutely crazy. I've never grown so many tomatoes. Uh, here goes some more. And so we'll just let, let these sit here. I'll come back and take them off the vines in a little bit, but for now, let them sit in the sun. Look, this one's already starting to go yellow. But see, here's what I worry about. See where it starts to split here? Can you see that on the camera? Let me bring it in here a little bit. So when the tomatoes start to split like that, that's the invitation for bugs to come and um, enjoy the fruit there. Uh, plus, if it starts to split, it just it rots faster. So uh, let's we pull it. It'll change color. It won't split anymore. We'll be in good shape. A uh, good example of some of the bell peppers. I mean, we're just getting huge. I'll put that on the screen there so you can see it. Huge green peppers there. Got a couple more here. A couple. Oh, let's keep it in screen so you guys can see. One more. So you can just, I mean, they were, and these are, these are kind of, we have bigger ones than this. We've, we actually had some ones that were much larger even than this one here they've just the, the bell peppers this season have gone great uh, the problem that we've had with the peppers though uh, is we bought yellow red and green and uh, the problem that we're having is though in trying to wait for the the reds to actually turn red see how that's starting to turn red in there they do this. They start to dry up and wilt, and then we lose them. So I don't know if we've just got them in the sun too much, if I need to plant them in a different location, but here's another one. Like you can start to see it. it's going red, but then on this side, look, it's all... So I don't know if I'll be able to salvage that or not, um, but we'll find out. But good example of our cucumbers, look at this. This is... So I can get that in there for you. I mean that's 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 huge. Um, so that's one. I only picked two today. There are a few more on there. Um, I'll probably let them stay on uh, at least until Monday, and then we'll pull them off. Uh, I grabbed a few of the jalapeno peppers. Uh, we've had some fun with those. I'm not sure what we're going to do with them yet, uh, but uh, there's probably a few more that I should grab of these out there. I just, I just didn't grab them. Uh, but here's the fun thing. So we have tried to do carrots for a number of years and never have had success with carrots. <sighs> this year we planted them and we're actually getting some, some growth and it's really exciting. But the problem is um, because I like to start our plants indoors and I use those Jiffy, uh, Jiffy, P, uh, those Jiffy pods, um, all of my seeds get started in that. And we haven't really had a problem because usually the roots you know, grow through it and go down and get nice and deep, especially like the tomatoes and the cucumbers. All of those were started from seeds, except for the, the lemon boys. We did buy the lemon boy plants. Um, but the carrots, I mean, look at this. This is the first time, let me put it up here so that you can actually see it against the wall here. This is the first time that we've actually seen carrots. Now, the part would have grown grown a little bit more but look here's the problem you see something is definitely getting in and munching on our plants this was like which so i can pull away back here that was like twice the size yesterday and something came along and ate it so i figured you know what i'm gonna pick them before we lose them but the problem was because we did these in those pods um they were constricted a little bit they, they didn't grow through the pods the way i thought they would well, at least not all of them, because now we have, let's so get this one out. There we go. This guy here, kind of a little funny looking carrot, but that's a carrot. And then here's another funny looking one. And then we come down here. But then here's the exciting one. Look at this bad boy. Look, that's like a legit, that's a legit carrot right there. That's pretty awesome. I think we'll be able to try eating that one. But here's the problem again. Look, I'll come over to here so you can see it. The problem. Look, this, the green tops were double this size. And you can just see they've just been cleaned off. Just someone came along and just munched them all up. 
So I figured, let's just go ahead, let's pull them, and then, uh, you know, I won't worry about losing them. But next year, I'll, I'll know that when we do our carrots, we found a great spot where they grow really well. And uh, we'll just plant them there as seeds, and uh, we'll let them do their things without the pea pods. And I think, I think we'll have good success with them that way. So that's just another quick little update. Cucumbers, peppers, sweet bananas, some carrots, again, our bell peppers. But now uh, we just made some uh, tomato sauce and uh, I've just loaded up our windowsill with a whole bunch of lemon boy tomatoes. So uh, we'll give another quick update when those are all ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna go back, finish cleaning the shed and uh, be done this project for today. So, got the bird seed all cleaned up. It's not picture perfect, but it's way better than what it was. I actually have plans to come back in a few weeks. We're gonna completely clean out the shed and kind of begin that transition between uh, summertime and wintertime. So, I figure I'll bring the shop vac, I'll bring the pressure washer, we'll pull everything out of the shed, give it a really good cleaning, and we'll finish cleaning it up. And as far as what's on the ground here, I'm sure they'll come back tonight. They're gonna want dinner, so they can just finish eating whatever's down here. And uh, yeah, at least I get it all cleaned up. And I think that's gonna do it for the vlog today because I think we've already got over 12 minutes or so of footage so if you would why don't you walk with me back to the garage here real quick gotta put a few more things away and uh, sounds like a plane's flying overhead check these out I'm gonna show you this from this perspective these are our mammoth sunflowers they are incredibly awesome it's the first year we've been able to grow the mammoth sunflowers. We've tried sunflowers before, but somehow they just, they've just never have grown. This year, they're awesome. I mean, they're like, before they started drooping over, they were like taller than the roof. So, I don't know, what is that, 10? 10, 10 to 12 feet. These things are supposed to get about 10 or 12 feet. But, you know, there's the, wait, where is it? Right there, that's the corner of the roof. You can see they're drooping down, but uh, they were up there. They were touching the corner of the roof. So figure that's a good, that's a good 10, 10 feet or more. So we're gonna come back and do a vlog on them because we're gonna harvest all the seeds and uh, Bray and I were talking about finding um, some fun ways to flavor them and dry them out so that we can eat them. So we're in the process now of looking for some recipes and some how-tos so that we can pull them down. But they'll be coming down in probably about another week or so. So that's going to do it for us today. Uh, gosh, it's been a while. The summer that we hoped to have, we did not have. Um, so that meant we, we pretty much didn't vlog any of it because we really haven't done a whole lot. Um, so, I don't know. Will the Life in the Hiram House channel shut down and go away forever? I don't know. But uh, we're definitely not bringing the camera out the way we used to. And I don't, I don't know if it's going to continue on. Maybe I'll just pick the channel up and keep doing home projects and garden stuff and family things as they come to mind and we'll just post them a little bit more randomly i guess that's more of a reason for you to go ahead and subscribe and then ring the bell so that you can get a, a notification of when we do post so you can see what we're up to and what the hymns are doing but uh other than that thanks for for watching kind of a weird another garden update real quick there um just a, a goofy stupid little vlog but hey it is what it is, I guess. All right? So subscribe if you want. Ring the bell. That'll let you know when we post again. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.